Welcome back, welcome back, and welcome back. We're making a Mediterranean breakfast, and it's meatless. We're going to use some baby potatoes. So you how much I love the ones with the colors. See that? I get this bag from Walmart. We're going to use some eggs. That's about three cups of spinach that I've, as you can see, just roughly cut up. We're going to use this container of portobello mushrooms. We're going to use some garlic salt, some Mrs. Dash. I'm going to use a can of black beans. There's the size there somewhere. There we go. That is some green onions or spring onions, whichever you choose to call them. Then we're going to use these seasonings here. The dill, the savory, the marjoram, and the rosemary. That's what they look like. Here's your shot. Let's get cooking. All right, as you can see, I cut those potatoes up. And I'm going to go ahead and season them up. I'm going to put about a tablespoon of that Mrs. Dash on there. A tablespoon of the garlic salt. I'm going to go in with about a tablespoon of that dill. I'm seasoning it with the same things. The marjoram. That's going to be about a tablespoon of that as well. A tablespoon of that savory seasoning. And then we're going to go in with a tablespoon of that rosemary. And then I'm going to go in with about two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. I've got my oven preheating to 350. And we're just going to mix this all up because this too will be going in that dish. And we're just going to put them in the oven, bake them on 350. And I'll be back. All right, I'm going to go ahead and go in with about a tablespoon of olive oil, and we're going to get to sauteing up this spinach, which is about three cups. But you know, it looks like a lot. You know spinach, it won't be much when it's all said and done. We're going to go in with about a tablespoon of garlic salt. I'm going to do the same thing with the Mrs. Dash. About a tablespoon of that as well. Again, as always, season to your family's taste and liking. To tie in the flavors, I'm going to go in with about a tablespoon of that dill. As well as the savory seasoning. About a tablespoon of that as well. And we're going to go in with about a tablespoon of the marjoram. as well as about a tablespoon of that rosemary, okay? And then we're just gonna saute up these greens here, and I'll be back in about two minutes to let you see what it looks like. Now look, that's been two minutes, and look how that has just gone down to pretty much nothing. It doesn't take much, and that is all our greens right there. Look at that. A little bit of spinach and it's not done wilting okay so I'm gonna give it another couple of minutes and then we're gonna add a couple of things into it I'll be right back all right I rinsed the black beans put them in there I've got the mushrooms in there there's that little bit of spinach <laughs> we're gonna mix all of this together and I'm gonna let that cook now I've already seasoned those greens really well the spinach I seasoned it very 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 well so I'm not going to season it again, but if you feel that you need to check those flavors, which is something that you should always do when you're cooking, but I've made this dish a few times, so I know my flavors are there for me. So if you want to, I mean, after we cook this for a couple of minutes, because I'm going to let this go for about three minutes, let all those flavors get to know one another, become best friends, and I'm going to let it cook for three minutes, and then when it's done cooking, then I would taste my flavors then but then I have to put those potatoes in there so don't forget we got to steal another item to put in here which is also seasoned so wait until you put the whole dish together right and make sure the flavors are the way you want them at that time okay so don't season anymore at this point do not put any additional seasonings in here because again those potatoes were seasoned and they were seasoned very well okay so that's when you want to taste it, after you combine the potatoes. So we're going to let this go for three minutes. Let those flavors become friends. 
get merry and joyful, and I'll be back. Okay, I also would be adding these tomatoes into this dish. I forgot to put those out. Okay, so I'm going to rinse them and cut them into some pieces. I'll be right back. All right, I've got nine eggs in here. And I'm going to go ahead and put in about a tablespoon of black pepper. And I'm merely just going to scramble these eggs up. And we're going to add those to that other pan. All right? And we're waiting on those potatoes. And this is like a 30 minute meal. The longest we have to wait on anything, it's gonna be how long it takes for those potatoes. So I'm just gonna scramble these up and I'll be back. All right, that's what our eggs look like. I'm gonna add them to the pan and then we're gonna add those potatoes and then those tomatoes. I'll be right back. There we go with those potatoes. See? Look how yummy that looks. Look at that. Just kind of mix that on in there. And then we're going to get those potatoes in there. This is a full breakfast. Brunch. It can be dinner. It can be whatever you want it to be. Look at that. Look at those flavors. All right. Getting ready to add the potatoes. And I'll be back. All right. As you can see, I just put those potatoes in there and I am just going to go ahead and give them a nice little jush to combine all of that together and then after I get finished stirring all this up now this is the time where you taste your flavors taste a potato taste a little bit of that egg put as much of it as you can in one little fork full spoonful and taste it and see if the flavors are there like you want them I know mine are there so I'm not going to taste it, but I am going to go ahead. We're going to put in those tomatoes. All right. And then we're also going to put in those green onions. There you go. I'm going to save a few of them for topping on top. But look at that. Brunch, breakfast, or dinner is absolutely done. And it is a delicious dish. Yes, it is meatless. Every meal does not have to have meat in it, but every meal can still be equally as delicious. And that's what we've got here. I'm gonna put her in a bowl and give you her close up. I'll be back. And there she is. Look at that. Absolutely delicious. Things made easy with Gigi. All day, every day. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and feel free to share. And if you haven't already subscribed, please consider doing so. Everybody be blessed and stay safe. Gigi will definitely see you on the next one. Take care, you guys.